Hello, welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI as the Cree. It is a new day. I've taken a look at a bunch of things in here. I figured out how to spend my gold, and I figured out the next steps for our empire. You know, I highly encourage you to put your games down for a little while. Let them simmer, come back to them. There's a huge temptation to play them all the way through, and that's usually how I play Civ, but I find that I learn things and I, if I let them ruminate. So the first thing that I realized is I have to take care of this barbarian camp. So I'm definitely going to spend some of my gold on another archer. I need to move this military unit in order to do that. Um, let's see. I need to spend gold on an archer in here because I need to deal with this barbarian camp, but that also boosts machinery, which tells me where crossbows are. Let's see. And actually, they're not very convenient, but having a through line to machinery and then into stirrups means that even if I don't take over the barbarians right now, at least I have a, an ability to accelerate the arms race against the barbarians if I go through the mathematics route, which I really don't want to do because I don't want to unlock districts because I don't want to raise the price of all of the districts. There's a very good district mechanic explained video by Potato, so I won't really go into that. I was going to move this archer back into home territory to heal up because I uh, misclicked to move him. Second thing that I want to do is I want to get shipyards going for my empire as quickly as possible. So the boost for shipyards is to build a lumber mill. We already have construction researched. I just need a builder somewhere to build a lumber mill on a forest tile somewhere. I have one builder. He has two charges and I can bring him down to here for PSU Oasis and get a lumber mill right there. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and improve the fishing boats to get a good tile for Pito Kanahana Piwian. And then we're going to send this builder all the way over here. So the next thing that I noticed is that if this is going to be a spaceport city, it's going to have pretty low production. So what I need to do is actually build an industrial zone rather than a mine on this tile. And building an industrial zone will allow me to build, fill it with industrial zone buildings that will provide extra production. It will also provide power to the city so that once I start accelerating the um, rate at which my ship travels, then I'll be able to still use non-renewables to improve the... Um, the city's uh, power usage and continue to, to keep up with the increasing power demands. But if I'm going to build an industrial zone right here, I'm picking it because there are two strategic resources, so it's already a plus two. And it'll be next to the spaceport. So I need to build one more district around it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and build a dam because a dam will give me access to even more energy. I'm p planning on being friends with Cardiff, which will give me access to even more energy. Or I keep, I keep saying energy, but I mean power. It's the same thing. This is a floodplain. Babylon will not build, be building a dam. So I can build a dam here, which will give me a plus two adjacency. Plus two production from each adjacent dam tile. So this will now be a plus five industrial zone. If I run the um, upgraded um, uh, natural philosophy card... Natural Philosophy upgrades into a five-year plan, which also doubles the adjacency of industrial zones. So I could run this concurrently with the um, harbor upgrade, and suddenly this is a plus 10 industrial zone. The coal power plant makes it a plus 10 industrial zone. So that's actually going to solve the production issue for Pito Kanapi Wheaton. But that also means that I want to prioritize buying these tiles because now I have a plan based around them. So then I'm going to go ahead and just do that. That's going to be how I spend my gold. A little bit lackluster, but we will reaccrue some gold quite quickly. And once we settle a couple of these cities, then I'll move Raina to those cities and uh, immediately buy harbors in them. I do also want to buy a lighthouse in the capital if I can help it. But for now, what we're going to do is uh, probably buy another archer just to have enough to take care of these barbarians. I would rather overkill than underkill here. And so since we just realized that we want to at least uh, we want to build a dam, let's go ahead and just grab buttress so we can at least place it. And uh, we're going to continue to manually explore with these, even though it's kind of lame. I just want to see where the other players are. And I want to be notified of their existence. I'm going to skip the turn. I'm going to try and march these archers together as much as I can. Yeah, so the, the barbarians are encroaching. I think I'll go ahead and take the shot. Yeah, that gets a kill, so that's fine. I think I'll buy one more archer. I'm going to just have this one fortify until healed, and then we'll give it more instructions later. This archer can skip its turn because we're going to cross the river together. This warrior, um, actually, I should probably switch with one of these archers. I guess I can't get onto the um, hill tile, but uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll have the warrior skip its turn as well. 
Uh, there's Sweden, which is fine. Sweden is sometimes a competitor in the science race. Let's enter a delegation. Let's actually see if she'll buy my Diplo favor. Yeah, and she'll give me a way better deal, a way better deal than other players. So let's just go ahead and sell her my Diplo favor. If I thought, thought this game was uh, in the bag, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. But it's also good to be trading with her. Unfortunately, I do not have any luxuries to give her. Uh, let's see what her relationship of is. Um, minus five. I think we could overcome that. Do I just send her a gift of 100 gold? I'm trying to get enough allies so that I can use Vieselfonken, but I think she's probably far enough away that I don't really need um, an alliance with her. Let's see. She'll give me five gold for horses. Let's actually, let's just give her 100 gold. I can sell these horses. And then let's see. Giant Varmin, do you want horses? Uh, not, not really. No, better than any other player. Let's see if Korea will buy them first. If Korea will buy them for just the same, no, she will not. I want to slow Korea down, so I'm going to try and take money away from her as much as possible. But um, absent that, let's go ahead and uh, weaken the neighbor that I'm most afraid of, which is a Monotore. So let's just say I'm going to give you 20 horses. Five gold per turn. Uh, that's fine with me. Have fun riding around that island. I kind of think I shot myself in the foot by playing on an island plates map with this sieve. I kind of thought island plates would be a little bit more together, but uh, turns out not not quite. Oh well. The mountains are just the weird part of this game. Okay, she's already friendly with me, so let's go ahead and get our friendship as quickly as we can. There we go. I think that's very worth the 100 gold that I just spent on that. We have our settler. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him into the water. We're going to settle this city first, and we're going to immediately move Reyna and buy the harbor for this city. I also was thinking about this city too. If I build a harbor here, right, city center here, these two suddenly share um, a bunch of adjacencies for a couple of commercial hubs. Commercial hub gets plus two for every adjacent harbor tile. So I have the unique opportunity to get plus five, plus six commercial hubs, potentially. This will be plus two, plus four, plus five. I can't build any more districts around it. But then this hub will get plus two, plus four, plus five, and then plus six, because I'm going to put my campus right here. And I think that's a pretty friggin' good plan. Uh, I'm relying on the fact that you can build uh, cities two tiles away from each other if they're on different land masses. And I'll just confirm that when I settle. If I don't, if I can't actually build this city, that's fine. This is a pretty trash city, and I would rather have this city anyway. Um, but I, if I can't build this city, then I'm kind of cooked with this harbor, because it's only a plus two harbor. I'm relying on some adjacencies to bring it up. But oh well. Um, do I crank out a lighthouse really quick, or do I build another settler? I think I should probably crank out the lighthouse really quick, because I'm capped at growth. And then I can always just buy a settler out of uh, Pito Kahanapawian. Alright, we can start taking shots against this warrior. This archer can't see the warrior, so... Um, I guess I should just... Uh, I should advance with this archer. And probably position on the forest tile. I don't want this warrior to hit me. So I'll, I'd rather have the warrior soak up the damage, so I'm going to move back and then I'll shoot forward with this archer. I think one of my weak points as a player, oh hi Settler, one of my weak points as a player is uh, micromanaging battles, which is probably one of the reasons that I think uh, I'm bad at domination. Although I should give myself a little more credit, I did, uh, I have won a couple of domination games on Deity, it's just my worst victory condition, and I feel like uh, there are more situations where I find myself out of the water. Like the Victoria game that I uploaded, it was basically over once I got to that golden age where I got a bunch of extra science, because if you get a science lead over the AI, then there's nothing they can do, basically. You'll be an era ahead of them, and you'll just steamroll their units. Era's advantages are much, much more important than anything else. There's the Molly. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a tough one, because <laughs> the Molly are a hard one to beat as well. Um, let's see, and he's of a, a wrong society. That's right, if people are different from me, then that makes they're wrong. 
uh, let's see, let's see, can I establish trading with him? He doesn't want my Diplo favor, but would he want my Jade? He wants my Jade. I'm going to sell him that Jade. We're also going to turn right back around to Christina and uh, get a little bit extra gold. Trying to buy myself another Settler or something like that. Um, actually, I'm probably trying to buy this Harbor. Okay. Next turn, I'll be able to settle this city and then immediately buy this uh, Barbarian uh, tile. And then also buy the harbor as quickly as I can. So this archer is ready to get a kill here. Things are going decently well, so I'm not going to purchase another archer. I also am near full on this one, so we'll start moving this archer back up here. And we'll see if we can sort of create a line. Maybe right here would be our fault line here. I need to start advancing though. The problem is that like it's difficult to advance in this terrain because my archer here can see all of these tiles, but then it, where do I move? I move over to the deer tile and suddenly I can't really see through the forest and shoot. So I have to move up to here, but then where do my friends go? I can't put anybody on this lake. I can't put anybody on this mountain. So it seems like archer here, archer here, archer here, but that's pretty spread out. So I think maybe what I'll have to do is have these two archers and sort of meet each other in this range and then have this archer and this warrior sneak over on the, the, the right flank. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I think I've met every player. I did, and um, it is time to declare friendship with you. Oh, wait, this is the turn that I met you, so never mind. All right, we can boost ship uh, shipyards. So there's mass production. Where is mass production? Oh boy, mass production is a super tech. We have to research a lot of things to get there. Well, that's the only thing so far that the tech tree has really screwed us over on, but I think it's an extremely important one. So we have lots of techs, and they're also unrevealed, so I don't know what they are, and I can't really work towards those boosts. I, I think maybe one of them would be build two banks or two markets. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, we're going to finish Buttress first, and then we'll probably wrap back around to horseback riding because that will give me um, the closest way through. I I've already boosted stirrups, so I don't need to worry about that one. Oh, it's also not a through line to mass production. Cartography would be nice as well, but there's no overlap really between them. Yeah, this completely... Look at this. This is so bad. All right, so we're gonna go for buttress and then I'm gonna come back to, so, whoop, oops, where's the shift key? Yeah, we're gonna come back to horseback riding. We know we want horseback riding next, so I might as well queue it up. And let's see, it's time to settle on the land. Let's step up. Okay, no barbarians in the area. We're good to settle this. She's gonna be like, hey, can you not settle next to me? I'll be like, sure I can. I can totally respect those wishes because I won't be settling another city near her anytime soon. Since I'm not going to get the kill, I can go ahead and take the bop. And let's see. I think these are going decently well against these barbarians. I'm not going to be able to... He's not going to be able to attack me. Uh, my warrior is okay on health. I do kind of want to bring this galley back here. Let me explain what I'm doing here. I'm trying to bring this galley back here to see if there's any other land masses that I can settle because I'm a little bit concerned with Korea in the game if I'm going to have the science economy in order to win, especially because I have to delay my campuses so much. Speaking of which, should I go ahead and just place this campus? Um, I definitely should place the capital's campus. I was thinking about it before. Let's see. I think... I think I'm not going to want to build a market in here, and if I do, it'll be over here. This is fine. Let's just put this campus down so it stops rising in cost. And in Attack of the Coop. 33 turns for this campus, and I have to buy it. Hmm. It's not that great. So the government plaza would increase the adjacency of any of these campuses, but I don't want to quash this good tile, and I don't really want to use this tile on a campus. No, I am not sure that I want to build a campus there. I think I'd rather pay a little bit of gold to, to build it, and... 
I guess I'll build it on the tundra because tundra is bad. Although this, I can't build farms on tundra. Never mind. I was like, this could be a farm triangle, but I'm not Canada. I don't want to quash the um, stone because I'd rather yoink with it later. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Start placing our campuses because I'm getting a little bit concerned. All right, once that's finished, let's finish the monument and then we'll work on the campus because the monument is so much cheaper relative to the cost of the campus. I kind of would like to buy a campus in here for the city because the city doesn't have any production really. 10 production compared to what the city actually has a good production tile now. So suddenly it has production. Maybe this is taking so long because I'm working all of these um, non-productive tiles, but I don't have any production tiles to work. Like, I need to buy this tile. Yeah, I think it's probably worth buying this tile just so the city has something to work. Yep, because I was working this marsh, and now now things are much better in here, I think, uh, once we refresh the tooltip. Hold on. I'll just wait till next turn to refresh the tooltip. But yeah, we just decreased the turn cost of a lot of things in there, so it's fine. So what am I building in here? Probably a... Lighthouse. I already have a lighthouse. So let's grab Let's grab a trader. Yeah, let's grab a trader. Next turn this will grow to this border and I'll just buy this campus because I, I really need to get caught up on the science game and I can hold off uh, one turn on meeting the harbor for this city. It needs to build other things and grow anyway. So we're on land. Let's go ahead and found our city. And I'm going to go ahead and immediately just buy this tile and deal with the barbarian threat that happens. Not that bad, especially because they're over near um, her. Um, let's go ahead and lock in the price of this harbor because I know I want this first. Out of anything, it's a plus two harbor. And let's actually look at the settler lands. Yes, we can still settle this because they are on different land masses. Beautiful. So I can remove this tile. Actually, I'm gonna keep this pin over here just to um, remind myself what I'm doing and why. Oh boy, that was not intentional. My, uh, my videos are not safe for vertigo, I'm sorry. So I think the thing to actually work for is a monument in here. She's gonna be like, hey, don't settle near me, and they'll be like, that's okay, because I've picked up all the good tiles around you anyway. Like, maybe there's another city right here. Nope. Yeah, there's nothing worth getting over here. But I, I need to grab as many of these peripheral cities as possible because my empire is looking as small as it could be if I don't do this sort of like early game land grab that I'm doing. I think my empire is kind of too small to win. So that's why we're grabbing Kilimanjaro over here and out of Pitokahana Piwian. That's why we grabbed that other city. Um, yeah, I think I can move forward towards this spearman and just knock him out. Okay, Korea's over here in this area, which could be interesting because that might set us up for a fight. If I can ever uh, exceed her in military power, I might just go to war with her to secure the win for the game, but I don't think that's going to be possible, and it's easier to just uh, be friends with her. So I could go ahead and grab the owls thing, but I don't think that's really good. I think I'm going to take Har Harbor Master. The next thing to do in builders would probably, or in um, this would probably to be to get Liang or to go ahead and work towards the space initiative promotion in Pingala. Black, uh, or sorry, Magnus can be sometimes good. I was thinking about Black Marketeer, but it's vertical integration. If you build a lot of industrial zones, this can be very, very good. Even more rewarding than Magnus's, or sorry, than Pingala's space initiative towards those um, space projects. But as it stands, it looks like I'm going to have a ridiculous amount of gold economy. And what I'll need to do is uh, use that gold to buy the great people that give me bonus production towards space projects, because I'm going to have a pretty low production in spaceport. All right, uh, I'm going to take the shot on the archer. Well, actually, let me do this uh, in terms of like who can take the fewest decisions. This archer has one decision to make, right? Okay, so now I can reevaluate. I could get the kill with this warrior and move out of zone of this warrior and it won't cost me that much health. Or I could get the kill with this archer. I think the most efficient thing to do would be to trade a little bit of this warrior's health to kill this 
archer. We didn't even get the kill. So I should have done that in the opposite order. Oh, it's so tempting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Plus six for unknown reason. We could get a friendship with her over time. Oh wait, I think this happened to me. I think if I think if you take a settler on water, it just deletes the settler. Uh, hold on a second. Let me let me look this up. Okay, cursory uh, exploration of the internet says this works, and I think this is exactly the advantage that I need to take from Korea in order to win against her. If I can just shave off one city from her, that could give me enough momentum because you have to think I'm adding a city to my empire and taking away a city from her empire. And then if I get any other pickups, then that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and just uh, surprise war her. This would be very bad for lots of reasons. But I get a free city. And it works. Okay, so now I just uh, GTFO. Uh, I'm going to have to snake through here. And we'll come to friendly territory. I might even use the settler to settle the um, Kilimanjaro city. And I'm going to bring this galley over here to help deal with this situation. But we'll peace out as quickly as we can against her, because I don't want to actually be at war. I don't want to try and, and spend time and effort building a military to take things over. I don't see any really good pickups. Well, I don't know anything about our empire, but it looks pretty snaky. So it looks like there will be few opportunities to have enough melee units or melee ships to come take things from her. I might be able to. I, I do want to get a little more vision of her empire. So she hit me with a galley, that's fine. Oh no, okay, we lost that warrior. Sorry, that was a little loud. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about with, uh, I should have behaved differently because that archer was able to eat that warrior. So, uh, it's a turn later, we'll buy our campus. Boom, there's a plus three campus, there's a mathematics Eureka, that's great. Let's go ahead and move Reyna to Mistahi Sipic, so I can then buy the, the um, districts in here that I need in order to grow. I'm going to kill the archer. Seems like a no-brainer. I'm actually going to... I'm going to think about buying this tile. So we're friends with everybody. I wonder if that... Yeah, minus 15. So these friendships are going to be hard to renew uh, in, a, in a couple minutes here. Whatever. I'm gonna just uh, get out of this war as quickly as I can. There's Namadol and Laventa who apparently are friends with Korea because they declared war on me. But that's actually kind of good because now I know they exist. Ooh, I could come take Gangjung. The Scally has the same amount of combat strength as Gangnyang. Really, you need to take cities in a pair, but I could take this to, to pillage it. I think I prefer my alliances over uh, coming and removing cities from existence because that's really, really painful. So I got 103 gold. I need to sell some horses. Yep. Okay, actually, let's not do this. Well, I, I need the gold now. So I need 130 gold. So. Boom. Boom. Is she saying hmm? I think I hear that in the background. But I thought I turned off uh, voices. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's also, um, let's sell her 20 horses per turn. Or sorry, 20 horses for gold per turn. Okay, she won't take them. Let's go to um, Giant Varmin. I'll take five gold per turn. That's fine. So now we can buy this bananas tile. And we can uh, probably work it for food. I think the 2-2 two -two is probably fine, but this will be the second tile that we work to grow the city faster, I think. We're one short of a normal age. Settling on Kilimanjaro will do that for us. But uh, I don't think I'll get there in time. What was our dedication? We're in a golden age here. Hmm.
clearing this camp will get it for us if we can get there. Otherwise, ooh, mercantilism already. So we get to Wrangler Trade. That's a good policy card. Um, I'd like to find Merchant Republic. I'd like to not get Drama and Poetry or Games and Rec, though. I think that's probably worth getting a, a lackluster Tier 2 government in order to keep those uh, districts locked and decrease the cost of all of my harbors and, and campuses and the like. Um, we're at war with these players, so we don't really need anything. I guess I could send an envoy to Cardiff because I'm technically building a um, wonder or a building in the capital. So why not? Let's do that. We're moving this archer towards the action. I basically like everything that I have. I think I should swap out um, naval infrastructure for serfdom. Or, yeah, for, yeah, hold on, colonization. I want that city faster. Yeah, we're probably not going to buy a builder in the next five seconds. We have other expenditures to make, like this harbor. Someone got a promotion? You got a promotion. Congratulations on being even better at your job. You get paid more. Let's go ahead and take volley on this one because I'm pretty far away from any cities and yeah. <laughs> it just so happens that the uh, the movement range was right on line with my borders. So for a second, I thought I couldn't enter my own closed borders. All right. Um, I'm not even gonna be able to get out of here. I didn't realize she had another galley in the area. Galleys can move three, so one, two, three. So if I move here with the settler, then the settler is out of range of the galley, but then I could never, I, I'm never gonna be able to outrun him. She's just going to get her settler back, and then she's going to have an angry relationship with me forever. You know what? I can move the galley over here and sort of split them up and make her choose. See if I can sneak out. Seems like the best shot that I have. I think that was a tactical error. Let's see what happens. Yes, she took the settler back. And so now I just have all these grievances that I have to deal with, and I just didn't. Ugh. Didn't get any substantial advantage against her. I killed a galley, woo. How many turns until we can declare peace? Seven turns for peace. All right, in this city, I think it's time to build the campus. We don't really need that extra trade route just yet. We can also build it out of a different city that doesn't have a campus already, or so that already has a campus like PSU. I'm gonna move forward with this. Okay, we've got another archer. And another warrior down here. She wants di more different districts. All right, well, I think we've got to take a shot against the archer. That'll do the most damage. I can, um, I can get the kill on the archer. That's going to secure the life of this archer. And then we'll need to take a hit on the Spearman. We got another trade capacity because we finished a lighthouse in the capital. I think we need to build a settler or maybe a monument is worth it for four turns to sneak out that monument. Yeah, let's sneak out a monument for four turns. 
I'm gonna just fortify here. This is a good a defensive terrain tile. This so gives me a good chance to uh, to fight. I think. Well, yeah, I think I'll go through the uh, the unknown terrain. It'll be a little sketchy, but who cares? So far behind that if I don't take a couple risks, I think it'll be just game over. So this archer won't be able to see this spearman if I move into this tile. So I'm going to go ahead and move over here and start taking shots against the scout. I could get the kill on the scout so I can get the clear later, or I could get the kill on the spearman because I know the spearman is going to um, do the most damage to me. So I think playing it a little conservative, keeping my archers healthy is the right way to do it. This trader could get, uh, let's sort by gold. Um, actually, let's go ahead and transfer you back to the capital because the capital had uh, better trade routes, I think. I think maybe an internal trade route from the city over would be nice because I, I want to grow the city nice and tall very quickly just in case there are any loyalty issues in the area. That might also allow me to settle another city like, say, the horse city. Settle on the horses and have mine, 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 mine. And a, another uh, harbor here. She didn't even ask me to not to settle near her, so that's fine. I guess she didn't have the Diplo favor for it. So let's go ahead and take a little more gold. All right, and in one turn we'll be able to buy this harbor, and we'll have the gold for it too. I'm going to go ahead and start building a library because we need to work towards great people, especially because um, it's getting late in the game and uh, we need to start making bids for Isaac Newton. Korea's is earning 10 great scientist points per turn. We're earning one great scientist point per turn. That's pretty bad. That doesn't even look like she finished a project or anything. There could be a another mini city here, like settle right here, harbor, or um, settle here, campus harbor. I'm going to just take a look at the area over here. I kind of want to see what the land looks like. Well... I guess it was still okay to try and get that settler. I am worried about- I want to finish this war as quickly as possible so that I can start generating these grievances before my um, alliances end. Because everyone looks at me and says, you have a bunch of grievances against another player, and that's going to tank my relationship with them, and I'm gonna, all of these um, friendships are in jeopardy because of this one decision that I made. And I'm going to move on to this tile because I can I can move on to the, the um, land in either way. We finished military training up to medieval fairs. Let's get medieval fairs. We will get the boost for medieval fairs in just a second or two here if we get uh, one more trader. Might actually be even worth buying a trader. So we can get 16 gold per turn. That's pretty freaking good. We got a great person. We've got... Um, no. We'll get an actual good admiral later. Uh, I'm going to slow road the admirals anyway. There's no point. So we're not building any settlers right this second, but I expect to be building settlers in a little bit. I do need to get some science going towards the shipyards because that's going to be important for my economy. So I think maybe running natural philosophy instead of uh, colonization is going to be important. Well, I am about to start building a couple more settlers. I need one, two, I need at least three more settlers, maybe four, five. I, I need a bunch more settlers, so I'm going to keep the settler card in for a little while. It's only turn 90, so. Okay, how can I get on here? Oh, I don't have the movement. Skip your turn. What, why do you keep asking me? So we're about to get the clear on this barbarian camp. Money well spent on these archers. These archers can then also be used to defend against Korea if she comes and attacks me for being a jerk to her. Veterancy is a good card. I didn't. I think I just unlocked veterancy. Hmm. I will be starting to build some buildings for harbors and harbors themselves. 
I think I'm gonna run veteracy instead of discipline because I think I just finished my barbarian threat. I could just go ahead and take a major victory against this warrior. There's no reason not to. Oh, there's a galley in the area. He's he's happy that we have a good economy. That's what it's good. What it is. I was like, wait, what? Will of God? I don't, I don't care about God. Didn't you see me not get a religion this game? Okay, so this warrior is just gonna be fortified too. This is an interesting situation. Well, if you're gonna if you're content to fortify, I'm content to fortify, my friend. We'll just be fortification buddies. All right, we want a harbor in here. Oh no, don't produce the harbor. Purchase the harbor. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna finish the monument and then I'm gonna build a lighthouse in here. When we get up to three population, these stats should look even better because I do have a 2-2 production tile to work. Do I have serfdom in? I don't have serfdom in right now. Um, so I was thinking about buying a builder. So this might be, there might be an opportunity in a couple minutes to reconfigure all my policies. We do have one more trade route capacity. So I think I probably want to switch away from Medieval Fairs for a hot second just to get another trader. Let's see, five turns for a trader in the capital or 11 turns for a settler. I think we have to go for another settler out of the capital because the capital has decent production and other cities just, just don't. Seven turns for a trader is acceptable here. Let's, let's switch the library for the trader. I'm at risk of losing Newton if I do this, but... And building campuses in other places too. Do I want this campus in eight turns or do I want another settler in 13 turns? I kind of want another settler in 13 turns. I think this might just be a holdout for Einstein kind of game. Because Newton's is coming soon, but my economy is not there for him. I could also just like sit here and pray, uh, run the projects for Newton. Um, How much is this worth me? I literally never boost medieval fares. Can I hold off on it for I no, I can't hold off at all. So I think I just have to hard build it. I could actually go towards mercantilism, but it's a dead end, and I don't think there's anything here for me. There's a sea dog. Camper permits me plus one protection and plus one food. I'll never build sea people from rainforest. Uh, do I have any camps? I don't think I have a single camp in the whole empire. Yeah, I'm just gonna hard build. We're gonna hard build medieval fares. This has convinced me that, I mean, I'm a trading sieve, right? And I've spent a lot of time developing trade routes. It just sort of convinces me that it's really, really hard to get that boost. All right. One more turn, we'll have cleared that barbarian camp. And suddenly we got, or somehow we got enough air score to um, avoid a dark age, which is very good because we have some peripheral cities. Ooh, we're Islam. We are Muslim. Warrior monks and Gurdwaras. I don't think that the Gurdwaras are enough to build a holy site. Couple more turns, we'll have friendship with Korea. So good thing about the Khmer is they like that I cleared out the Barbarian camp, even though the Barbarians are nowhere near them. So I'm gonna start sending these archers over to sort of fog bust in the area and prevent more Barbarian camps from spawning. Like, on this hill maybe, or yeah, this is fine. And if another one spawns up here, then I'll just be sad. Um, I think the next thing to do, do I already have, yeah, I already have bronze working so I can chop jungle. I'll probably keep Raina in here so I can buy the campus really quickly. But another thing might be to buy the harbor in this Kilimanjaro city because I'm going to need the housing pretty fast. I'm also reluctant to go within two tiles of Kilimanjaro. I think I'm going to slow roll it. There's my poor settler. I wanted you. I wanted our empire to be so great. Two turns for peace. Oh no. That is bad, bad news. So that tile is pillaged. I need a builder now. I think I'll just roll with the pillaged tile for a second and also just let the tornado do its damage. It's fine. 
I'll have to repair. We're gonna stand on here and see if that does it for us. I think that does it for us. Um, so that means there is a good campus in here, even without this commercial hub. Uh, I could build the city. I can't build the city on the water, but I could found the city, say, on the sheep, maybe, and then have uh, the harbor here. That's a plus three harbor. That's the best that I can do. I actually can get a plus four harbor if I settle on this tile. But that prevents me from getting a campus. But I guess I can get a plus two campus right here. I don't need the reef for the campus. City center. Harbor. I mean, the extra adjacency on the harbor is sort of worth the extra adjacency on the commercial hub. Actually, I am Alza Minerva, which provides culture equal to the adjacency of the commercial hubs. So is that worth trading two gold and two production from the city and also having to share a couple more tiles with the capital just to build a good commercial hub? I kind of think so, because then I could build the commercial hub in the capital right here. Okay, this could be the capital's commercial hub. This could be the second city's commercial hub. This could be a harbor, which is a plus three harbor rather than a plus four harbor. That's fine though. Move the city over to the sheep. The problem is it'll take a long time for the city to get online, but we'll get a little bit of extra culture out of it. So that'll be fine. And then this uh, could actually be a mine. I can make this the campus. And then this commercial hub is a plus uh, two, four, five, six commercial hub, which is great. All right, I'm gonna keep that archer there. I'm gonna move this archer over one. That does put a little bit of uh, fog in the middle there in the mush pot. Whatever. Is this what I wanna be building in here? 12 turns for a campus? Or do I wanna get the um, audience chamber? Ancestral hall might be okay too because I still haven't settled a whole ton of cities. So getting a free builder in all these places might actually help me get some fishing boats online, some more production. I mean, I don't think I really need these cities to be tall. I think I might actually switch governments at this point to classical or public because then all cities with a district will receive a, a housing and an amenity. That extra one housing is really helpful for settling off water. Once you finish your harbor, just boom, now I have a little bit of extra housing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna delay the tier one government. I, I feel like maybe the ancestral hall is a little bit weak. Because what can I do? I guess I could get the turtles online for this city and then build a couple fishing boats. This city could have improved tiles. This city could have. Versus not getting Newton. I think Newton is probably more important than those extra couple builders. Because it won't. I guess I could get it just in time for this settler. And so now every other city that I settle gets a builder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to. Just cut that number in half for conservativeness. So that's like five free builders. Will I only settle five more cities? Okay, let's do it. Let's build the ancestral hall. Because I feel like I'm probably going to settle a little bit more than five more cities. I, I guess I... I'm going to queue up movement towards the Kilimanjaro. <laughs> this is going to be awful. I know I'm going to lose this settler. I know it. Uh, is it time to declare a friendship? One turn. So next turn, sorry, not a friendship, a non-warship. <laughs> All right, so we're at the medieval era. We have a normal age. I think we should go for monumentality this time. Plus one error score for constructing a building that provides science as a base yield. Ooh, that could be good too. I think I'll take Monumentality because I'm building a whole lot of districts and I don't remember the, the boosts for the medieval era, but I know they get harder to get as the game goes on. So we'll take Monumentality. Uh, we're 
and approaching the ability to outright buy that campus, which is probably what I will do before I move on with Reyna. I think my next governor promotion will probably be to get the unlock the Gilded Vault, because I'm starting to think about maybe um, building a couple of those. Getting a couple more traders, because this gold economy is pretty freaking good for me, actually. I've got 500 gold. 500 gold is another settler. Or close to it. It's actually the campus. That's what I'm probably going to get with it. Um... I need to go to mass production. I think I would rather unlock a apprenticeship and see what's down here. I need to build three mines. Where are my mines? I've so far built zero mines. So yeah, this will be a time to buy a builder out of Pito Kahana Piwian. Mine, mine. And then... Any other hill. That's a hill, but... Uh, Oh man, I need to buy a bunch of builders. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. We will... I could also get an attack of the coop and chalk out, chop out the ancestral hall. I think I might just have to hard build apprenticeship. So we're at war. I think it's time for peace, right? Make peace. Will you pay me a little bit? She wants to trade olives for peace. Okay, let's just take peace. Our grievances are going at minus eight per turn, which is sufficient to get some of these uh, friendships um, out of range of threat. The Khmer is probably okay because they liked that I was um, clearing out a barbarian camp. Yeah, this one is probably under threat. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We might have to pay some uh, more gold to more players, which is not ideal because I didn't get anything out of that war. It just cost me. You know, I think I might move over one. I don't think this is better. I think this is probably better. Actually, probably standing on the hill is the best. And then probably standing on the forest is the best. And then just leave that range open for barbarian threats. Yay. Until I come settle it. Where am I settling next? I kind of like this settle next. This is, um... Let's see. This is a reef, so there could be a campus there. I have to settle on the stone rather than get the chop. So this doesn't have very good production. Um, that's probably not a very good city, in fact. I think I'd rather get this city down so I can start working on the diplomatic quarter and get the spaceport um, city shored up. Plus it will benefit from this industrial zone. We do have dams unlocked. I don't know what I was thinking. We need to place a dam, right? No suitable location. There is a suitable location right here. What are you talking about? Oh no, the border is not the river. Ugh. Well, that's a commercial hub now, I suppose. This is a plus three. Industrial zone. This game just got a lot harder. Ouch, that really hurts. Um, let's just trade open borders for open borders. All right. Um, I don't really have a dog in this fight. I'm gonna say that I generate more grievances because I'm not planning on generating more grievances against anybody. And then I would like one trade route capacity myself. So why not? Okay, all of that's fine. Okay. 
We can kill the barbarian there. Boom. Our patience paid off. <sighs> I'm so upset about that uh, non-damn-damn. Damn. Like, I really kind of thought that... Because the, there's blue here, right? I wasn't paying attention. That's that's on me. But whatever. I still think this is tenable. Because, like, four production in the long run is not that great. But it is difficult. Like, it's not that important. But every little bit counts. Civ is a game about taking little incremental advantages and snowballing them. And while it would take a long time for this advantage to really snowball, it still kind of sucks. Okay, we actually we're, are a few turns late on our campus. Let's go ahead and just buy the tile and then slap down a campus in here. And now the city really doesn't have to do anything for us. Oh, we need four population. Duh. That's why I was working the extra. Well, okay, build a granary. It's fine. Um, granary or lighthouse? I guess the lighthouse is better because the lighthouse gives me food as well. I could also just purchase the, the lighthouse or the granary, but I have the veterancy card in. Let's just purchase the granary, why not? I want to get this uh, done so I can move Reyna over to um, the city. In fact, maybe it's worth looping back around for. Is this still the right tile? This is definitely the right tile. And then is this still the right tile? We definitely want to settle this city because there's really good... Uh, I think maybe moving down onto the Plains Hill is the right call. It does make the harbor a little bit worse, but then we could also just build a commercial hub here and make up for that and then put the campus right here it's an expensive campus to go by i guess the campus can go down here too it is within two tiles of the kilimanjaro though gosh a really good eruption on kilimanjaro could wreck so much for us Well, uh, I think that's probably a good place to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to re receive future updates. I know only about a fourth of the people who watch my channel are actually subscribed. So if you are not already subscribed, uh, here's looking at you. Go ahead and do it. I will see you next time. Bye for now.